Okay, so let's look at blood flow through the heart. Um, if we look at the heart, the heart's got four separate chambers, and each chamber has a different function. If we look here, you can see all the little tubes and all the little valves within here, all coming off the heart. So we'll look at this as a, a complete pulmonary system, where we think about the heart and the lungs actually function together. So blood. On the way back from the body, after we use blood for exercise, blood comes back deoxygenated. So it will come back through the right atrium, and it will enter the right atrium here, either through the superior vena cava, or through the inferior vena cava. So deoxygenated blood travels through the inferior or superior vena cava into the right atrium. And from the right atrium, it then filters down into the right ventricle. Now, that's deoxygenated blood, so what do we do with it now? We now need that blood to become oxygenated blood to try and deliver the oxygen into the working muscles. So from the right ventricle, a contraction will happen and it will push the blood through up into the pulmonary artery. Now a lot of people get confused between veins and arteries. Yes, it's called an artery and it's carrying deoxygenated blood, but we have to remember any vessel that carries blood away from the heart, we term it an artery. Now in this case it just happens to be deoxygenated blood, but the blood is going away from the heart. Now we can see it's going away from the heart because when the right ventricle contracts, it push the blood up through the pulmonary artery, it's taking it away from the heart and it takes it towards the lungs. So the lungs will sit here, we will breathe, we will get rid of the deoxygenated blood and we will carry oxygenated blood back towards the heart. Now, what's going to carry it back towards the heart? Well, any vessel that carries blood towards the heart is termed a vein. So, oxygenated blood flows all the way back through the pulmonary vein. So, from the pulmonary vein, we'll go into the left atrium. It will drop down into the left ventricle. And this is where we get a very strong contraction on the left ventricle. The left ventricle will then eject the oxygenated blood up into the aorta, but it will then be distributed throughout the body. So remember, pulmonary artery takes it from the heart to the lungs. So blood is traveling away from the heart. The pulmonary vein will carry oxygenated blood from the lungs back towards the heart. So we have four chambers. The right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. The left ventricle has a strong contraction to pump the oxygenated blood up through the aorta and throughout the body.